All right, quick update. Um, I just fought with getting the exhaust off for like an hour and a half. There it is. Uh, I've never had to remove an IRS exhaust. And it's not a, not a fun deal. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I was having a hard time getting it apart and then getting it out of the hangers because the hangers are really long, but here we are. Um, so now all I gotta do is just gonna probably unhook the brakes, unhook the drive shaft, and then start dropping the IRS. All right, everyone, we are back and about ready to pull the IRS out of the car. So got the shocks out, got the brakes off, got the exhaust off, which took me way longer than I expected and got the brakes hung up. Drive shaft is unbolted. Uh, pretty much the only thing we got left to do at this point is actually drop the actual IRS. Uh, which is only four bolts but it's really heavy i've never done this before so i'm gonna see how it goes i have a transmission jack which i'm hoping will be able to balance the irs well enough for me to get it out from the car um, without me dropping on my on myself so stay tuned all right got it out highly recommend the trans jack made it a lot easier on oh, this thing's definitely heavy i ended up using the trans jack one jack another jack Pretty simple. Uh, once you get everything unhooked, remove the rear bolt, remove that bolt, and then you just kind of slowly lower it down and slide it out of the car. So I'm going to start disassembling and send the bracket off to powder coat, and then we'll start reassembling all the bushings and everything. Uh, got everything apart with the IRS. Not very much fun, but arms, sway bar, got the center section out springs all that fun stuff time to work on getting the bushings out sounds like fun also FYI I did not order sway bar and links originally as you can tell mine are destroyed so had to order some of those but halfway done ish Alright, working on getting the bushings out. Um, I don't have a torch, so I decided to drill them out as instructed. Here's the tool. I'll show you kind of how that works. There's the old bushing out. It's actually not that bad with the removal tool. And then there's that. Um, remember, you do not press out this metal sleeve. And then over here, got that one drilled out, ready to press. I'll show you how the tool goes on. And then um, that's pretty much how you get all the, the IRS um, subframe bushings out, at least. I uh, haven't done the control arms yet. All right, so here's the tool. Basically, the instructions are pretty clear, but you take the threaded rod, two of the large 5 8 washer, washers, a nut, the smallest in diameter of this little pipe basically and then this chamfered thing on the end and then there's a nut and a washer on the other side and essentially you just tighten this one down keep going and it'll press the bushing out for you um it takes a little bit but it, it makes it come out pretty easily um just got to put a little elbow grease into it all right finished up for the day got everything apart got all the bushings out and off to powder coat not a fun project, by the way. Here's the mess I made from getting those bushings out. Fun stuff.